Greetings, folks. Welcome back. And I'll have a story to tell you today. And you know what? This story was told to me by a dear friend named Ryan Stein. Listen carefully, because there are some details in this story that will make sense when you get to the end. You know, once upon a time, there was these two twins. And one twin was very positive, and the other twin was very negative. And the parents did not know what to do because normally twins are alike, right? Especially if they're identical twins. So the parents decided, hmm, we're gonna play a trick on our boys on Christmas morning. And this is what they did. The parents decided that they would get a big box and they would put something very special in the one box and something very special in the other box but the boxes would be identical, just like those twins. So, mom and dad put those boxes, wrapped them just magnificently and put them under the tree. And they had told the boys, boys, this Christmas, you're gonna get the best gifts ever. And the one son that was very positive said, oh, mom and dad, I can't wait for Christmas. It's gonna be so exciting, I love you. And the other twin, who's negative, was like, whatever. I tell you, these parents never know what to get us kids these days. They're just totally out of it. So anyway, it's Christmas Eve. The boys go to bed. And on Christmas morning, they go downstairs. And the one brother that's very negative, he stomps down the steps. And he goes to his box and says, hmm. Pretty good rapping, actually. So he tears that box open, and when he opens the box, he sees the most amazing thing ever. It was the invisible flying bike. And everybody in the country wanted the invisible flying bike. But guess what? The first thing the negative brother said, Mom, I can't believe you gave me the invisible flying bike. When it's invisible, I'm not even gonna be able to find it. How am I gonna ride it if I can't find it? So the parents just shook their head. Then the boy had the nerve to say, everybody's gonna steal it. I can't even take it out in the neighborhood because I'm the only one that has it. Oh, guys, you never get me the right gift. And the parents just shook their head. But you know what? The positive son came down the steps and he ran down and he opened the gift and guess what? He said, whew, that's a funny smell. And then he looked at it again and he said, yes, yes. And the parents shook their head because guess what was in the box? It was the biggest, biggest mound of poop you've ever seen. And the parents couldn't understand. Why is the son so happy about the poop? Meanwhile, he gets up and he runs to every room of the house. And he's opening doors, tearing open closets, looking under the beds. Then he runs outside to the garage. So his father is thinking something crazy is going on here with this child. So the father takes off after the son and right before he opens up the garage door, he grabs, he said, son, son, what is wrong with you? And the son turned around and looked up at his dad and said, dad, wherever there's that much poop, there has to be a pony. And the father looks down and shakes his head. Dad, I gotta find the pony. And the son takes off and he looks and looks and the dad just shakes his head. So folks, you might think to yourself, wow, really? Well, let me tell you what, folks. Right now, things kind of stink. We have a health pandemic. We have a social justice pandemic. Some of us may even feel like we have a educational pandemic. But I want to encourage you to stay positive and to find your pony. Folks, right now more than ever, it's important for you to find your COVID comfort. For some of you, it may be taking a walk. For some of you, you may have more time with your family now because maybe there's limitations on things that you used to do. 
And you can use this time to come back together as a family. Maybe to have breakfast together. Maybe to have dinner together. Maybe to go on walks together. Maybe to listen to music together. Maybe to play games together. So I'm gonna encourage all of you through all of these pandemics going on in the world right now to go find your pony because the way you view it is the way you will pursue it. Have fun, thanks for listening, and no matter how much things stink right now, the choice is yours to find your pony. This was a word from Doc. Peace. <laughs>